Okay, well, here is the new plate put back on. And instead of using cap bolts, they used studs, I guess cap nuts. And um, the main issue is that because of the changes, um, this lip I had to be cut off and I do a little grinding to uh, get the clearance to fit under the plate there just barely made it with some uh, little adjustments there so I wish they'd kind of warned us ahead of time on that but come on focus uh, there we are anyway Thanks again, and, uh, well, I want to take a look at the rest of this boiler. We put this boiler in in, uh, I think, 20, 2014. There's our VXT. And this particular model of um, slant fin has a uh, back outlet in 2-inch. So this is a 3-inch, and here's a drop header. And the two inch and comes up and goes into this three inch header. Uh, this is a two pipe vapor system, Illinois. That's the uh, float trap. And that's the return trap with the uh, uh, two check valves there. Let me see if we can turn the light on. There we go. Yeah. That's the drain for the wet return, which we replaced some time ago. And it's another drain there on this um, return T, low pressure return T. There's the back. And there is the uh, Hartford loop there. It's probably one of the first ones I put that stainless steel, um, stainless steel uh, connector uh, to go from the copper. Um, the water feed goes in here and it goes into that T, which I would not do. I try to, to avoid that because that tends to blow the water back this way. Um, I usually like now put it in a T on the, um, on the side, a 90 you know, outlet rather than on the run, as it were. Uh, there's the vapor stat. It's in ounces per square inch. And there's our sight glass blow down with a 45 to lead it off there. Um, this is a Carlin Easy Gas Burner and the uh, McDonald Miller uh, PSE 801-120 on there uh, for the lower to cut off. Let me take an overall view. There we are. Oh yeah, we also upgraded the drain uh, with our full port drain valve. That's that's our that's what we did today, and again, that's the uh, plate that we replaced. Let's see where it was leaking. I think it was leaking in this corner here. And let's see where's the. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, there's the draft. Draft regulator is here, stuck in the corner. Nice big one with the uh, block flu sensor right there. Let's see if we can get a shot of this return trap here. There's a sight glass. Want to, if the pressure gets too high, what should happen is the float then trips the trips the steam to go into here and equalize the pressure so that the um, water then can uh, flow back into the boiler. I think that's how it works. I don't know if it works now. And that's the old header there. This is one takeoff and then there's another takeoff there. This was the drip right there. But uh, 
Since then, we added the drift at that end, the equalizer line there. I hope that was clear. A uh, <laughs> little bit of a uh, jungle gym here. Uh, this is a this is the uh, driver turn where the air and some of the water goes. And at the other end, I'll take you to the other end. This is the drips at the main. These are Illinois inline traps. Uh, we rebuilt these years ago, and then the water then drains down to the uh, wet return there, which we put in, which we built a while ago. Let's see if we get a shot there. That's it. Thank you again, and uh, stay cool.